In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can automatically uh, resize and compress images in WordPress when you upload them. Very simple process using a plugin and uh, we're gonna get straight into it. So if you look at this image here, I've just uploaded it and it's actually two meg. Two meg is just way too large for an image on a website, it takes too long to download. And the actual resolution of this image, if I drag this over, is 4,000 pixels by 25, 25 pixels. I've got this off pexels.com, it's a high quality image, but just too big for us to use on our website. So we're gonna actually install a simple plugin and I'll show you how to set it up, it takes a minute, and we're gonna re-upload this image and check out the results. So we're actually gonna go in, we're gonna find the plugin first, gonna to go to plugins and add new. We're gonna type in resize image after upload. And you'll see we've got this here by short pixel. It's got a green pixel and a little rope, green picture and a little robot. We're gonna install that right now. Once it's installed, we're going to activate it. And now the plug is installed. So all we need to do now is go down to our settings and click on resize image upload to set this up. So you can donate to the plugin if you find it useful, which it is very useful. And at the moment, we've got enable image resizing. We can set the maximum width or maximum height of the image. So if for, if for some reason you only wanted to set the maximum width, you could always just pump this up to like 9999 if you wanted to. But let's just say we're gonna do 1024 by 1024 as the maximum height. That'll mean it'll be no larger than that width or no larger than that height, but will retain its proportions. And the JPEG compression level is at 90. Now, most of the time you can get away with about 60. So let's just say we'll just do 60. The quality's not bad at 60. Maybe we wanna go a little bit higher. So say 63. And that means it's got decent compression with uh, decent quality. And if we come down here, there's also image conversion settings. So if you upload something that is not a JPEG, but is a PNG, you can actually convert it to JPEG. At the moment, it's set to no, however, if you click yes, it'll only convert images that do not have transparencies. So I actually would recommend trying to turn that on. Now, the other thing is, one thing to remember is actually to come in and actually just either disable the plugin or turn this turn these options off if you want to upload a much larger file than these resolutions. So it can be a little bit of uh, a little bit of an obstacle if you have really large image you want, images you want to upload. However, if you're not doing them often you can simply uh, disable the plugin, upload those images and re-enable it. So I'm happy with all that, I'm gonna click update options. Then I'm gonna go into our media and add new to re-upload our file. I go to select files. This is our image here. If I turn on details, you'll see it's 1700 kilobytes. So it said two meg before, but it's just rounded that up. I'm gonna click open to upload the image. And now the image has been uploaded, we're gonna to go to edit. And this is our image here. Now the quality is not too bad. And if we actually go to the, let's just zoom out a little bit, because on the right hand side, we have this panel here. It's now 1024, so no wider than 1024 by 646 kilobytes. And the image is 80, uh, sorry, pixels. And it's 89 kilobytes, which is pretty acceptable for an image that big. So. That's essentially what we have there. That's our image. Uh, if you aren't happy with the quality, you can go back and adjust that up in the settings. But um, that's just a very quick and easy way if you're uploading larger files and you don't wanna have to optimize every single one manually and then upload it, you can simply install that plugin and it will do the work for you. Definitely if great for if you're mostly inserting images into blog posts and not worrying so much about the actual template of your website. Like I said, disable the plugin when you do those larger images and that'll get you set and ready to go. So yeah, hope you found that video useful. If you did, please consider giving this video a like. Otherwise, uh, if you want more like this about WordPress and other things like Photoshop, social media, please consider subscribing to our channel and I hope to see you again soon.